I, uh, I don't really know where to start with this. I, I genuinely don't. You, you, you think it can't get any lower than that 5-0 at Old Trafford and then you witness that at Anfield. Manchester United have lost 9-0 to Liverpool on aggregate in the Premier League this season. And Hannibal fucking Medjbury in the last two minutes of a game showed more fight, more spirit. All these cliches that you have to talk about when talking about Manchester United because the first team just doesn't have it. The golf in quality, in attitude, in approach, they are a total, complete waste of fucking space. And I apologize if I swear in this match reaction. I'm sure I will. That guy there, get the hell out, man. Every single game, a hospital pass from Harry Maguire puts a teammate in a bad position. He was ridiculous for the positioning for the first goal. I'm, 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 look, look, what are you doing, Harry? What are you doing? You're a centre-back. Oh, my God. I don't want to... There's no point... And I'm sure I will, anyway, through, through this match reaction. There's no point picking out individuals. It's, it is a total culture that has encompassed the entire club from top to bottom. We know that the Glazers are at the top of this tree, and they are the people that have enabled and created this culture, which has sucked the life out of Manchester United. A penny for the thoughts of Sir Alex Ferguson, man. He spent 30 years building this club up, taking it out of the shadows and bringing it back to the top of the English football again, knocking Liverpool off their perch. And he has to sit there in Anfield and watch this spineless, gutless, lifeless team put in that sort of performance at Anfield in a game where we know that if we win, we're going level with uh, Spurs for the top four chase. A game that we know that we could put maybe even the slightest of dent in Liverpool's chase for a quadruple this season. When we played Liverpool away at Anfield in 98, our treble winning season on the 5th of May, they were 2-0 down. What happened? Did they lose 4-0? Did they just lie down and take it? No. 2 all. we ended that game. Dennis Sermon got sent off and it was fucking Paul Ince who got the equaliser. Utter, utter, total, complete disgrace from that. It is the worst Manchester United team performance that I've ever seen against a, a, a rival like that. Now, there might be uh, some of you in the in the comments of watching it that have seen the 70s and the 80s, and you might say, Sam, well, you're just, you're just too young. But that there, that captain, I can't look away from that captain. The person who's supposed to be... The one who picks everybody up, who brings everybody to his level, to his... Christ might we go his standards, we're going to be relegated. Jeez, the worst Manchester United captain you will ever see, and I just want him out of the club now. Game, set, and match. I'm normally someone who's extremely polite, who kind of sits on the fence. I've tried, tried to present arguments from the left and tried to present arguments for the right to try and stay a bit level. But sod this, get the hell out of my club, Harry Maguire. Done and dusted. If you are the captain of a team that does that at... Anfield, if you are a captain that gets outshone by a 19-year-old Hannibal Medbury, great hair, at Anfield in a two-minute stint, actually showing a bit of tenacity, a bit of desire to actually, you know, get to that ball first before a Liverpool player. The only reason that it took Liverpool so long to go 3-0 up in the second half is because they were eating their dessert. They'd already had the main course in the first half. But off the gate, weren't even in second gear in that second half. Wow, the Liverpool fans must have fucking loved that. 9-0 in aggregate. I think it's 15-1. Something like that on aggregate between us and our biggest rivals so far this season. I, d I genuinely, for the life of me, I, didn't think it could, I did not think it could get any lower than that 5-0 at Old Trafford. That was after that game where I said, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has to be sacked. This isn't a, this isn't a call at Ralph Rannick, if we're looking at the team there, it was a bit of an odd team. You know what I think he did? I think he goes, you know what? This team was so crap at defending... Last week against the team bottom of the Premier League, I'm going to put five defenders in there and give them an actual chance of holding a bit of shape. Four minutes in, we're one nil down because this bloke decides to go running up the pitch. And of course, Diogo Delo, who was running forward and playing left back randomly, uh, look at the space he leaves in behind for Mo Salah to do whatever he wants to. Harry Maguire, man. Look at yourself, you embarrassment. I don't care if people... I, don't, I never wanted to be that guy that got clipped up, but... I, I, after games like this, you can't not speak in, I suppose, ultim ultimatums. This team is... is <laughs> I don't know how or why I'm laughing. I suppose because I'll cry if I don't. But it, it's, not, it's not a game that we didn't expect. We all went there fearing, fearing the worst, hoping for the best. That was what I said before the game. 
And I feared the worst and the worst happened. And it could have been more. Had Liverpool kept up that intensity from the first half, it would have been way, way more than 4-0 Manchester United. Instead, it is 4-0 Man Liverpool, not 4-0 Manchester United. Jesus, we have what, four, two shots on target, one shot on target. Sancho had one. Uh, anybody else? Rashford looked like Rashford in that game. Uh, that chance with the ball over the top. Everybody looked like I expected them to look like. No player surprised me. And all in the wrong way. Oh, my God. Eric Ten Hag. Don't watch that game, mate. Don't watch that. No, in fact, do watch that game. As I said, Paul Pogba, toodle pip. That's probably the last time you play for Manchester United. I will not be sad to see you leave. I will not be sad to see Harry Maguire leave. This has nothing to... There's some people that try to drive some sort of racism or xenophobia or anything like that. No. I just want what's best for Manchester United. You know what's best for Manchester United? Paul Pogba play, never plays for us again. Jesse Lingard, he leaves the club on a contract. Goodbye. Harry Maguire, he never plays for Manchester United again. 94% of that squad never plays for United again. I will not be sad. I will not miss them. We will move on. And we need to. Jeez, this... Uh, for the life of me, I'm so... I'm not surprised, but I did not think it could get any lower than that game against Liverpool at Old Trafford. And then this game happened there. Man, even the away end was emptying. That's how bad it's got. That's how low it's got. And as I said, you can talk about Ralph Rannick and his individual tactics. and all. You're looking in the wrong direction here, man. You're looking at the players. You're looking at the overall culture that the club has enabled them to comfortably get in their lazy boy chair and sit in whilst getting paid hundreds of thousands of pounds a week, overpaid, overinflated egos, overinflated self-sense of importance. They've all got, they're all crap. None of them would get into, well, some of them would, but the majority of them wouldn't get into any top six club. And they think that they can go out and do that against Liverpool at Anfield and then come out this week and said, oh, we're going to play for... They told us before that game, Harry Maguire said, we're going to play for a bit of pride. Where was your pride there, Harry? Where was it? Because I didn't see any. As I said, the only pride I saw was Hannibal coming on and making a bit of a difference. Jaden Sat Jess Jesse Lingard, it's some decent passes through to Sancho, but Jesus Christ, I'm not going to try and put, I'm not going to try and drag a positive out of that game. Liverpool just danced around our lifeless body. They could have made it 3-0 in the first half if they wanted to. They could have made it 3-0 at the start of the second half. They took their foot off the gas. United started to play a little tiny bit of football. Then we remembered that we can't play football and we reverted to character. Mane, clinical finish. And as soon as that went in, any sort of semblance of a potential comeback just faded into the distance. Like Manchester United have faded into the distance, man. Liverpool, look, I'll tell you what. Liverpool fans must have hated Playing United so many times between what the first, like the first 20, 25 years of the Premier League. It must have been horrendous. And now I know why. Seeing them do what they were doing there and make it look so easy because it was easy for them. It wasn't difficult for them today. Players like Harry Maguire made sure about that. And you might think that I'm scapegoating Maguire, but you're damn right I'm scapegoating for Maguire. You know why? Because he is the captain. And when you are captain of a football club, you are held more accountable than any other player. You are held to different standards of any other player. That's what comes with wearing the armband. You want the extra credit when things go right, or you can take the criticism when things go wrong because you are the captain. Get him out of our club. Move on. We made an absolute faux pas paying 80 million for him. And I never do this with players, but I'm just done with this squad. I'm done with all of these. I, I know we've got the right manager in Everett Ten Hag, but what's he going to do with this pile of matchstick players? Liverpool look like they're going to win the quadruple, by the way. Just as the added bonus to that game there tonight. 9-0 against United on aggregate over the two games in the Premier League. And we're so far away from that. And this isn't a, this isn't a case of uh, talking about the new manager now and, and how he can change things. It's like the full focus has to be on the protest. The full, and this isn't just because we lost fucking 4-0 to Liverpool because we're not doing well right now. United fans have been going on about it for so long, but nothing's been done. And until something is done, this is the cycle that we're stuck in, like a magnet pulling us downwards. And until that goes, I don't know how we start climbing back up. I hope Eric can work a miracle and I hope we get some sort of semblance of a modern day structure behind the scenes because otherwise games like that are going to come every goddamn season. I'm done.
I'm done with this team. I'm done with these players. Can we just end the season now, please, 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 please? Seriously. Oh, 